Moving on now, gender disparity in education has attracted great attention over the years. Efforts to close the gap have recorded significant success, except in the fields of science, technology, engineering, and mathematics. In our next story, we see how one Nigerian woman is making a difference by empowering girls to dare for more. The BBC's Azizat Olaoluwa reports for Just Nigeria. Women are contributing little to the knowledge economy, being driven by science and technological innovations in Africa, despite global calls for gender balance. According to the National Bureau of Statistics, only 22% of women are graduates of engineering and technology per year. The same report said women comprise only about a fifth of the total number of people working in information and communication technology. To remove some impediments limiting opportunities, Women in Technology Center, an NGO founded by a woman here in Lagos, is training girls in science, technology, engineering and mathematics with the purpose of encouraging them to pursue careers in those fields. Hi, welcome to WTEC. Please come in. How are you doing? Established in 2008, this center has trained over 31,000 girls across 12 states in Nigeria, with at least 70% attending tuition-free. STEM professions play key roles in the development of any country. Unfortunately, there is poor representation of women in STEM fields. In Nigeria, there is a problem of low numbers of girls enrolling for STEM education. And most of the time, not all of them even graduate. The low numbers of women in technology in Nigeria is really a big problem. The um, latest figures that we have from the Nigerian Bureau of Statistics show that approximately 20% of the ICT, so the Information and Communication Technology Workforce, are made up of women. So that means that the remaining 80% are men. That's a big problem. So why does this problem persist? Could it be that there are only a handful of mentors that serve as role models for girls interested in STEM? Sophia Tzadik and Yeshua Amen are beneficiaries of lessons taught here. The training has really impacted me and given me confidence to actually build an app with one of my friends and we're building a study app. We're still discussing some things but yes, it's something I hold close to my heart. I've also applied for this competition that um, we're basically meant to think of a problem and build an app to solve that problem. So all that has actually given me the confidence to do that because I didn't study anything related to technology or things like that, but the camp alone has actually given me the confidence to do that. Before the training, I did not have any tech skills. I really did not know what I wanted to study or have any defined career path. But at this center, I was able to learn a lot about programming, robotics, engineering, mathematics, and science. And I was even able to visit companies that made the world of technology very visible and real to me. So I had the confidence to really go ahead to study a computer science course because I had been given the training at this center. With the successes recorded so far, Aurelua believes that the number of women in STEM in Nigeria should rise in coming years. In five years time, we would like to see more than that 20% um, of the workforce being female, staying longer within um, the first 10 years, rising up, so seeing more women, um, executive, board members, and therefore seeing more women, more girls going to study these degrees in university. So I want to encourage girls to be confident, to have confidence in themselves, to seek out mentors, so they can be women or men who are walking a path that they admire, and connect with them and try and get advice on how they can also channel their own journey. And basically just live life with no holds bars, just go for their dreams. While marking this year's International Day of Women and Girls in Sciences, UN Secretary General Antonio Guterres said for the world to rise to the challenges of the 21st century, there must be joint efforts to end gender imbalance in science. This simply means all forms of factors holding women down must be consciously removed. Azizat Olalua, GIST, Nigeria. Well, again, the challenge of creating an equal society is one we should all rise up to. 
There's more to come on Just Nigeria from the BBC and Channels TV. Matana mortality rates have been on the rise in parts of Sierra Leone, but one initiative may be landing in the nick of time. Stay with us.